your disclaimer before the video starts you might hear little background noise just ignore it um the house is full today and i had to shoot this video if not i would not post a video this week so yes please ignore the noise and listen to the information i have for you hey beautiful people welcome back to life with ria so this is a long awaited video gotten tons of questions concerning this why did you leave dominica why are you in georgia should i come to georgia how far um the language doesn't the language barrier affect you so on and so forth so i'll be covering those questions in this video so stay I'm studying you. in austin's university school of medicine dominica before transferring to new vision university tbilisi georgia so i completed my basic sciences in dominica and then started my clinical rotations in georgia so i was done with my basic sciences i had to go into clinical rotations in the caribbean and then considering the fees it was up to 6,000 USD to do clinical rotations for a semester in Dominica, while in Georgia, it was 7,000 USD for a year. So after considering this, that I would have to pay like 18,000 USD a year compared to um, Georgia, my parents decided that, okay, it would be better I transferred to Georgia. And also back then, the school I was in that All Saints University wasn't accredited they are accredited now but it wasn't accredited then so that was another reason that pushed my parents to transferring me to georgia that's the main reason why i left dominica so let's go into the pros and cons the first one i mentioned the tuition fee dominica is more expensive than georgia in a year you pay seven thousand usd tuition for georgia and in a year you have two semesters in georgia so that's three thousand five hundred per semester while in dominica you had you had to pay six thousand usd for a semester so it did not make any sense and we are two studying medicine in my family so um georgia was favoring my parents more than dominica the plus side for dominica the application process is very easy compared to georgia and i'll explain for dominica you have to once you apply with your passport and transcript you then um send your passport or once you gain the admission you send your passport over and they will stamp your visa then you start coming then while it for georgia you apply using the same thing the passport and the transcript once you gain the admission you have to apply for your ministry order and ministry decree after getting that then you move on to applying for your visa as a nigerian you don't apply for your visa in nigeria you have to go to ethiopia to apply for your visa once you apply for that you stay for however long it would take the visa it takes two to three weeks some say more but on average two to three weeks for the visa to be out so you spend that time there spend money feeding everything there before coming to georgia so that's why i said on the plus side for dominica it's easy to process while georgia is a complicated process and you have to be really patient while applying to georgia if not you would think your agent is trying to dupe you or something another pro for georgia is that you don't get delayed while doing your clinical rotations it's organized while for Dominica because they do not have their own hospital sometimes some rotations are not available so you have to wait till maybe surgery is available before you do it or internal medicine is available before you do it there's no sequence to things while in Georgia New Vision University has its own un um, hospital so it makes it easier for us to do clinical rotations there and even if they don't offer some rotations like dermatology now they send us to other hospitals that offer those rotations and we do it we are not delayed at all there's a sequence to things in georgia another con for georgia would be the language barrier you don't get to have that patient doctor relationship because of the language barrier the doctor can't send you to clock a patient but in dominica the doctor can send you to clock a patient then you come back to re to report um your findings because they speak english but georgia they speak georgia unless you know georgian you can't really have that patient doctor relationship so it uh, our doctors are always there to interpret whatever we say to the patient and whatever the patient says to us so that's that limits you a bit to you know um taking the history of the patient another con for georgia will be that we don't get to do clinical practice for every rotation 
for family medicine in my school at least i did not have the opportunity to go to the hospital and see patients while in dominica you get to do clinical practice for each and every rotation you get to go to the hospital or clinic see the patients clog them do all these things but for georgia in um, new visual university we did not have the opportunity of doing it for some courses but on the plus side you get the opportunity to intern to apply for internship in the course of your choice if it's surgery if you want to have extra clinical practice for surgery or um, internal medicine or whatever you're given the opportunity to apply for internship and you get it and you do the rotations during the break so you don't really get to lose unless you're not interested in you know covering in getting more clinical practice. Another pro for Georgia is that the cost of living is affordable compared to the Caribbean. So a one bedroom apartment could range from 200 USD to 300 USD. And I'm saying 300 USD because right now the cost of living in Georgia has increased because of the Ukrainian war. So normally it used to be um, 200 USD to 250 USD maximum. But now it's up to 300 because of the Ukrainian war. While in Arabia and that's Dominica, the cost of living is for one bedroom apartment could be up to 400 USD. For a two bedroom apartment, it could be from 250 USD to 400 USD now. While Dominica, it's from 400 USD to 600 USD. I stay in a two bedroom apartment and I pay 150 USD for a month and that's 300 usd for the whole apartment that's for two rooms while in dominica we paid over 500 usd for two rooms so the cost of living is more favorable in georgia with dominica and georgia accommodations are off campus they don't have any campus accommodations you get your own apartment outside campus another pro is that cost of living cost of transportation is really affordable in georgia you can survive with 100 usd a month you can't survive with 100 usd a month in dominica it's not possible in georgia 100 usd equates 100 lari that's the local currency while in dominica is 267 lari and after buying your things you can't even use that 100 USD for transportation. It's maybe just for food stuff because food stuff are really expensive in um, Dominica. But in Georgia, they are affordable. You can use 200 lari to buy your food stuff and then budget your 100 lari for bills and transportation. Why the 100 USD for Dominica is just for food? Another one for Georgia is that you pay for your utility. You pay for the electricity, the water, the internet, the cleaning, and every other thing. But in Dominica, everything is covered in your rent. So the utilities in Georgia are not up to 40 USD. They range between 20 USD to 30, 35. Depends on how much electricity or water um, you use. So yeah. A pro for Georgia is that it's really secure compared to Dominica. In Dominica, by 7 p.m., I'm not on the road because there are a lot of thugs that can steal and kill and rape you. While in Georgia, 12 a.m., we are still rolling on the streets. They have a very low crime rate in Georgia, especially where, where I stay, compared to Dominica. Dominica's crime rate is so high. So if you're looking for safety, Georgia is your place. Another pro for Georgia would be that students are allowed to work. I've gotten this question like a million of times. Are students allowed to work in Georgia? Can you? Yes. Students are allowed to work in Georgia and there are legit jobs to do here. You just need to apply with your CV, you get it, you go through the training and you start working. While in Dominica, students are not given the opportunity to work. I have a question about if it affects you with basic sciences, not learning anatomy with cadaver. I completed my basic sciences in Dominica. So I learned my anatomy with cadaver. 
I don't think I'm the best person to answer this, but like I would say, for every medical student, it doesn't your learning doesn't stop in class. You have tons of videos online to see the cadavers, to know that okay, this is where this vein is or this artery is. You don't just stop with the cadaver. I don't think that's a barrier that should limit you from learning your anatomy. You can go online and check cadavers and see the arteries and veins you want to see. So yes. On and a major one for me is that Georgians can be racist. They are friendly Georgians and if you meet friendly Georgians, you will love Georgians. But they're also racist in Georgia, but I don't come across them that often. While in Dominica, we are all blacks. So who are you coming? Who are you coming to do your racism for? So someone asked if the Georgian class sizes are impressive compared to the Caribbean. I use internal medicine as an example. So in internal medicine, you can have over 100 students offering that course in the, in the semester. So what happens is that the school divides us into groups, groups of 10 to 12 students for easy learning and so we have the different groups going to hospitals so we don't we're not all of us we are not all going to the hospital at the same time because you can't have 100 students in the hospital at the same time sitting in internal medicine so they divide us into little groups of 10 to 12 people that's how it's done in new vision university well in caribbean your class size is your class size if you if you guys are 20 20 people are offering the same thing that's not the same thing for us another con studying in dominica is the weather it's a tropical island so the weather is hot throughout just like your typical nigerian weather while in Georgia, you have the summer, winter, spring, autumn, but you do not come to study weather. So <laughs> I don't think the weather of a place should make you go to the place. You came for your academics. So I think that's where you should focus on. But you know, we all like the soft life. So if you love the soft life, Georgia would be good for you. So I hope with these few points, you decide whether you want to come to Georgia or not. I can't be the one to tell you whether to come to Georgia. I'm just here to give my honest review of being in Georgia. I'm not painting anything. So you can see there are cons to Georgia, there are cons to um, Dominica. So choose the one that you would benefit more and decide to come. By the way, it doesn't depend on where you study, but what you do with where you study. I hope this video helps you. Please do let me know in the comment section whatever questions you would like me to cover that I did not cover in this part one. It will be coming in part two. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.